Hello everybody and welcome to my next game development video. In this video you're you're gonna be seeing in the next few videos you're gonna be seeing me actually creating a game engine and the game engine is gonna consist of the vital things that I need in order to finish the game. So I have a lot of the core functionality in the game going on ready, but it would be easier if I could have things handle those stuff for me so then in the end it makes it much easier so if you just look at this the engine has no functionality nothing is going on in it right now I just put out the layout just to start it off so right now you see some stuff in the top panel you see nothing on the side panel the side panel is going to handle things like transitioning through the different maps event editor, character editor, items, we weapons, etc, etc. The top menu is going to consist, or the menu bar is going to consist of files, edit, options, help, exit, etc, etc. So, I don't, these, don't worry about these, they're just dummy icons, they're not going to be the real icons, but that is the going to be the basic setup of it. So, you guys might be saying, okay, well, why did I make a video to show you guys this? Well, my tutorials are, my videos are mainly tutorials, and you guys normally learn things from my videos. So instead of basically showing what I've, I've been doing, I'm going to actually give you some knowledge and got, show you guys how I'm going to be designing this engine. Now, it may change as I go along, but this is the design algorithm that I got going right now so if you I've, divi I've divided everything into screens and modules okay a module is gonna be something that is contained or takes a portion of the screen and the screen itself is the actual screen that is being displayed so for example when you run a game, you normally see the splash screens. You see the people who develop the game, etc., etc. So that's the splash screen. After the splash screen, you see either the title screen, main menu screen, whatever you like to call it. So you normally see the main menu screen or the title screen. So that's the screen itself. Now, within the title screen, you might see I have a menu on it. So the menu might be sort of like a screen inside a screen so then that would be considered considered a module or that's what I'm gonna consider it as a module so my making my program out of modules and screens and then they're gonna work accordingly to make something big so the reason why I've done modules is that sometimes on different screens the same thing is displayed on every single screen or on multiple screens. So instead of creating a new screen and rewriting the code for something that's going to be done over and over again, that's why we have modules. And inside the module class, you actually specify the different screens that the module is going to be displayed on. So if, if you look right here in my code, I make a list called strings and I name it screens so in that list you're gonna basically display the name of the screen which you will be this the name of the screen which the module will be displayed on and this is the position that the module will be displayed and this is the dimensions of it meaning the width and the height of the actual module so it knows how wide to take up on the screen I might get and set properties right here to get them and so on and so forth loading it in with my file manager class now I'm not I'm not gonna go too in depth with my file manager class but this is the way I've done to load files so if I go to one of my files right here so menu bar dot CME so the way I've done my file manager class I've loaded it I made the way to load it a kind of flexible in that you can load in any content and you tell the content what to do so then each 
each different file can load in something different or do different things with it. If you don't understand what I mean, look at it this way. So, if you notice right here, it has the word here load equals. So that lets the file manager know that we're loading in what I call the attribute. So it's specifying the different attributes I have. So the three attributes are screen, position, and dimension. So the screen name is main screen. I'm going to tell you what we do with this after. So screen name is main screen. The position on the screen is the in the x coordinate is 60 and in the y coordinate is 10 and the width and height of it is 100 by 100 right and then I put load and I put we're loading in an image and then I specify where the image is so that is all in the menu bar dot CME or in my text file so how do, does it know what to do when we load it in so all the file manager class does is that it loads it in and lets it know which attribute it is linked to. So main screen is linked to the screen attribute. This is linked to the position attribute. This is linked to the dimension attribute. And all these are linked to the image attribute. So how do we know what to do with it? So if I go to menu bar module, if you see from my file manager class, I load in menubar.cme and I stored in two files, the contents and the attributes. So it lets it know which contents it is and what attributes it's linked to. So I say that if the attribute is equal to image, then we find out the content that is linked to that specific in, uh, image in the contents and then we do whatever we load the image to we load the image into our list so I know that might sound a bit confusing because I'm not really going in depth into the code but basically the file manager class loads it and stores it in contents and it loads in, it saves our contents and our attributes and then we scroll through every single attribute and then see which contents are linked to that attribute and then we do whatever we need to do with it so that's it for uh, loading stuff so now if we get back to the modules so right here I say that the module is linked to the main screen so if we go to my screen manager class my screen manager manages which screen is being drawn stores all the screens loads all the modules etc etc so right here in my update I do two for each statements or two for each loops and I basically say that if if it's if the module contains is supposed to be displayed on the screen then we update it and same for the draw command if we if the module is supposed to be drawn to this screen then we draw it to the screen so basically that's how the modules work so then we draw the module to the position that we specify, the width and height that we specify, and we put it on the screen that's supposed to be displayed on. So if you look at it, the menu bar is actually a module. So if we go to the menu bar, again, one more time, the menu bar position that is at the position 60 by 10. The dimension is not added to the menu bar as of yet but the dimension is supposed to be 100 by 100 it's displayed on the main screen so if I click to run it uh, I think I altered something yes I did so if we run this code once again this module is displayed inside the main screen so let me alter it and say that it's not going to be shown on the main screen so if I look at menubar.cme and I just change this to test screen so since I never set it to main screen and the main screen is what's being displayed right now then the module doesn't display so say I wanted to put in a next screen as well so say I want to display on two screens so I'll put a next screen right there and I'll put main screen 
and I run this then our dock or menu bar or whatever will display because the main sp screen is being displayed and if the test screen is being displayed then it will show up on the test screen as well so that's the way I am going to be designing the, the backbone of everything is going to be designed in so that's a little knowledge maybe you guys might use this or utilize in the future not sure but hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye